Hello people of YouTube, I know you've obviously missed me. Anyways, we're gonna be doing a video on the care of, that's right, one of my favorite geckos, the Texas Banded Gecko, or better known, Calionyx brevis, which is Latin for something small. So you know, they're pretty small. Kind of, uh, so if I poke him, what's gonna happen? <laughs> he's, 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 he's all nervous. Boop. D did you make a sound? I'm not gonna worry about that. Anyways, ignore the fact that I'm that I'm literally uh an annoying this gecko. So he has a care similar to say a leopard gecko. You, yeah. I keep his hot spot, which is really just a heat pad right there. It's that little pot. It's underneath that pot at like 88 to 85 or 85 to 88. His tank's a 12 by 12 by 12, but you can go smaller. Like as long as it's a five gallon tank, that's really all they need. They should they should have like a human hide, which he has it underneath all that moss. He just kind of buries under there. Keep the humidity below forty or around forty, I say, below or around. He they don't get very big, like two to four inches. Mine's around two inches. He's around like three grams, I'd say. He doesn't like the fact that I uh, picked it up, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this back. Where I found it. There you go. Oh, we can see his little face. The little face. Literally the cutest thing ever. I've had him for about a year now, and his care's been going pretty well. So I'd say um I got it decently well. If you're wondering what I used for this, I used the Bio Dude Terra Sahara for his dirt, and I just got some random plants that our desert and this plant's kind of sad though and it's it was supposed to open up but it never did so it just kind of leans there leaning being sad in life what can you do uh what else i mean i feed him really small dubias and really small crickets he some he used to like mealworms a lot more but he doesn't like them as much probably because i don't give them the, i don't give them as much yo wait, is that rock a hide just use that rock as a hide you might that's cool i'm just kind of screw you <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about him. Um, they're okay with handling. Like, sometimes he'll walk onto my hand. Other times he's like, zoom, zoom, don't touch me, please. I beg of you. Uh, what else can I say about them? Oh, substrates you can use. They really like to dig. Like, he enjoys being able to dig. So, if you're just, if you're not going to go back to things like this, I'd recommend using sand or something like that, because they, as I said, they enjoy to dig, and they enjoy the looseness of sand. They're not like leopard geckos, where they'll easily ingest a bunch of sand, even though they look like leopard geckos, and they have care similar to leopard geckos. They're not like leopard geckos. I know, right? It's insane. There's... <sighs> what else is there about them? I don't really know. I'm just kind of so used to it. I keep a water bowl in his tank. It's like a really tiny one right there. I need to clean it out. Uh, I don't really know what else, what much else to say. I'm probably just all over the place for this video. They can live like 10 to 15 years from what I've heard. I have no experience of how long they can live, but they can. Um, they've got some other cool cousins, like... Colionyx variegatus, which is just a bigger version of them. They got Colionyx mitriatus, which I also have, which is a tropical version of them that's really big. They have Colionyx, uh, what's it called? I can't remember the name for the Yucatan banding gecko, but they have that. That that exists. I personally like the Texas one just because of his personality and his little patterning. I'm just gonna make him all mad again. Literally, look look at him. Isn't he all cool? He likes to climb up on that sometimes. He, so as I said earlier, he eats small dubias, mealworms, uh, crickets. As long as they can fit it in their mouth, they'll eat it. But, you know, don't go really big stuff because you don't want them to choke on it. And that's not very good. What else can you say for them? Hmm. I mean, he's kind of cute. Oh, they're nocturnal. Like, unlike leopard geckos, who are totally crustular, ignore the fact I'm literally ignoring him during the day. 
Yeah, just go in there. That's probably for the best. So, other than the fact they're crescular, no, uh, other than the fact that no, not only leopard geckos are crescular, which means they're entering the sunset, these guys are totally nocturnal. Fun fact about these guys, sometimes in order to uh, scare off predators, they'll simulate scorpions. So that's pretty cool. They'll lift the tail up and try and hold it over their head like a scorpion. That's pretty cool, you know. What can you do, really? I think I think that's about the end of this little video. A nice little care guide. It's it's all over the place, but it's a care guide. There's mist. Anyways. Yeah. It's a little interesting thing. So basically sum it up five gallon five gallon at minimum. You can use sand or other loose substrates that they can dig with. Keep the keep them a hot spot or with a heat pad about eighty eight about eighty five to eighty eight degrees. Make sure they have somewhere to shed for human hides, etc. Feed crickets and dubias small enough for them to eat, um, or other small insects. And yeah, I think that sums it up. Bye bye.